tonight we're talking to A24's Green Room, uh, starring Anton Yelchin, Imujin Poots, and Sir Patrick Stewart. And uh, yeah, this is this is an A24 movie as well. We've never talked really A24 stuff on this show because we typically talk about older stuff. But uh, a company that has been making waves and horror and, and, and in film in general for the past decade mm -hmm. and uh, producing some really good shit. And it would be, it would be ignorant of us to not recognize some of their movies and talk about them when we do a podcast about movies. Um, one that I'm very excited for is X, which will be out by the time you guys hear this episode. What do you think is on it? See one goddamn fucked up horror picture. But I am very excited to see that, and that is gonna that's coming from A24. Um, you guys have any particular A24 movies that uh, you, you you like right off the top of your head? Midsummer immediately comes to mind. It just on A24 now it's it's almost become like a, a meme or a joke that like almost like IPAs. You know, you're you're. <laughs> You're like some kind of like you, you, the, you make fun of the A24 fan. You know, the fact is they're they're letting filmmakers come in and do original ideas yes. and giving them the freedom to, you know, to do what they want in, in a way that not a lot of other production companies have been and to great results, you know, and you could say, oh, yeah. it's an A24 film. It's going to have X, Y, Z, but. Yeah, I guess it might have more gore, more sex, more, you know, push the boundaries more because mm -hmm. it's not trying to reach a broader audience. It's it's really allowing people to tell stories how they want to tell them. So, yeah, you're obviously going to get certain elements uh, that that you might see patterned across uh, yeah. their lineup. But I mean, they, they've got an amazing track record. It's they're they're hot as hell. I mean, looking at the filmography, looking at the movies they've produced over the years, I mean, there there's more in there that I have seen and liked and than seen and not liked. Absolutely. Um, now that I'm I'm sure there are some some stinkers in there. I mean, everybody's got opinions about movies, and some are good and some are bad. But um, I have kind of jumped on that A24 hipster bandwagon as of late. I'm like, I want to pick up all the A24 stuff and. But like you, you brought up a good point, Eric. Like the, it's such a wide spectrum, and it, I, I believe it. It started with with drama movies and maybe some some of the like indie sci fi stuff. But it's a company that produces a wide spectrum of genre. Like you can you can see all kinds of movies through A twenty four, and a lot of them, a lot of them have this sort of you know hipster sort of connotation to them because they are typically movies that are elevated and things you have to think about a little bit more and things that aren't going to tell you exactly what you want to hear when you're watching a movie or explain it to you. So that's where that sort of little ding comes in with people who are big into a 24 is like, Oh, this guy must be into some weird fucking movies. You know, well, I think uh, like out of the a 24 movies I've seen, I probably haven't seen near many as you guys have. Cause I'm kind of in my own niche of movies and, we yeah, go. you're you're a you're a you're a movie snob. Yeah, we established that on the snob. Leprechaun episode. Yeah, <laughs> and considering I'm saying that my movies are better than everybody else's because that's really what a snob is. I'm just saying I don't think that what the movies that everybody you else you don't have to keep good. explaining yourself. Jason. No, I'm you're, explaining you've myself, and I'm going to have it. the last word, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm, exactly. I'm, but I, it's okay I, if you're a snob, dude. 